it's SJ. I am starting a video with absolutely no makeup on, which to be honest, I do most of my day in the life videos anyway. But I wanted to show you my super easy three minute morning makeup routine. And it's pretty much the same as I do even if I was going on a night out, to be honest. I don't own any more makeup than these kind of five products that I use. They're all like two in one products. I think buying decent products just helps you get out so much quicker and they have to stay all day. So they're really long lasting as well, which is something I always needed when I was a working mum. But even more with the little ones, I just don't want to be topping up makeup throughout the day but I do like to look like I'm wearing makeup as well. I'm going to show you all the products and what I do and I'm also going to give you a chance to win £150 worth pamper package. This is so exciting. This is being given away by Channel Mum who you may know but they are another channel that I vlog for. They also have an amazing website, tons of resource. I'm Channel Mum's baby name expert. <laughs> <laughs> just got to have a hobby. Um, so they are giving away £150 worth of vouchers, £50 from Primark. This jumpsuit is brand new in Primark. They've got really good stuff in at the moment for summer. Also £50 boots voucher. All this makeup is available in boots. Anything you like, you can go down and grab it. And £50 lush voucher. So a whole bundle, 150 quid's worth. All you need to do is click the link in my description box below. It's a bespoke link just for me, for you guys. So click on that, go there. You just need to subscribe to Channel Mum or be subscribed, fill in the little entry form. And there's two chances to win, one this week, which will be announced on Monday, then it will open again and you can fill in the form again and have another chance to win. 150 quid, so that would be really, really lovely and I would love it if one of my viewers won, so do go ahead and enter using my little link. Right, so I'll show you all the products that I use. I'm also gonna show you a hair product that makes my hair look a lot more voluminous than it is naturally. So my first product is a double action primer and day cream. Like I said, all of these are kind of two-in-ones that just mean I'm not fussing. They're all used, so. <laughs> I've actually got really dry skin, so this is for normal slash dry. Um, and I put loads of it on my face. Isn't it weird, like, moisturising in front of other people? My skin is not at all flawless. I've got really bumpy forehead at the moment, and I've got this kind of blush here on my chin, which is thanks to my hormones, which are raging at the moment. So, yeah, that will just soak in. Oh, I love moisturising. Is that my favourite bit and I've got the matching night cream of this as well and then for years now I've used this foundation I wouldn't use anything else it is amazing it is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and it's basically foundation and concealer in one and while I say my skin's not perfect it's obviously not really really bad but this lasts all day it's 100% fragrance free it's got a full coverage but I do apply it with a brush so I've been using the Bobbi Brown full coverage brush for years since I had a little demo at one of their counters and this combination just means I have one product to put on my face and I'm done. So if you do have any blemishes like I do at the moment or under your eyes or anything you just dab it on. I don't know if I've done my makeup in front of anyone for absolutely ages and then this just kind of buffs it all in. It's a really really soft brush but it's a full coverage brush so I think that just means that the way it's made means that no product stays on the brush it all goes into your face loads of people comment on my skin on youtube when i started using this and my color is alabaster so i absolutely love the finish of this foundation i think the color is right for my skin tone and it's just one done <laughs> So really recently, I haven't used a under eye concealer for years, I decided I had to. I think my eye levels went down, they went very bluey. And I bought this one, which is a Benefit one. Benefit are really, really good, and it's a hydrating concealer. Wasn't sure it was going to work very well, because look, it's basically like a balm with a concealer in the middle. So I think this works because it really brightens, but it also moisturises. And if, like me, you have a few little laughter lines, <laughs> it means that it doesn't crease. So they always teach you, don't they? You watch the Benefit tutorials do a deep V, and I just blend that in. Um, my nail colour is actually Flamingo, Shellac Flamingo, quite like it. And that's literally all I do, but I like it. Definitely doesn't go creasy, and you can see it kind of does moisturise that part of your face as well, and gives you a nice glow. I don't have anything done to my brows. I used to get HD brows a lot, but I haven't had them done um, in about, yeah, a good six months or something like that. So my brows aren't too bad, but I get them dyed while I have my lashes done. So this is probably a good time to talk about my eyes and my lashes. So the reason it is so quick for me in the mornings now is that I have the Russian Volume Extension Lashes. So I get them done at a really great salon. It, first time it takes quite a long time and then after that the infills are super quick. So cool thing about showing you today is that these are a month 
on. So I always saw people with these lashes and thought, yeah, it looks great now, but do you have to go all the time? Do you have time? Like I'm a you know, mum of three, my husband works late hours, I'm not gonna get to the salon very often, but a month on, they do not look bad. I'm definitely due to go in for some infills and that will be much quicker and much cheaper, but I've been so happy with them and it's reduced my makeup time by like a mile. So I use on my brows, Browsings from Benefit. This is a two part product, but I only use the powder. I have a kind of sharp end for a gel if you want a really polished look, or just a little brush. So I just use the little brush because I don't want to look too done. And I think I just really use it towards the end, you know, where you're like thinning out, and just brush that through. And a little trick is to sort of back comb the front bit so you don't get too much of a sharp look. So yeah, it makes a little bit of a difference, doesn't it? And this is number shade number three. I'm probably more of a, I like to have a darker. But I only really want to fill in the ends where they're thinning. See, because I'm not particularly trying to make them bigger or thicker, but you can use this side and the little gel product to actually make them bigger. Set my eyebrows down. So I started doing a tiny bit of shading. It takes me 20 seconds. I've just watched so many YouTube tutorials where they do lots and lots and lots and lots of products. Don't get my head around it, but I just bought this palette, which funnily enough is from H&M, for H&M's face sculpture. So it's got powder and everything like that. And then the little brush is also from H&M as well. I literally just use, I use the darkest and the bit where I need it, I like to go along my hairline at the top here. This is gonna look really dramatic on um, camera. Probably just to keep because I've got like a high forehead and then I do the bit everyone does suck him under and create a bit of cheekbone so you can kind of see the difference on my face now that I've just done half of it and it's quite dramatic because I've got like a big light on my face but I find it really soft in real life Literally that is like what I do, it doesn't take me a minute. And then I just do the blush, which is a nice pink, on the apples, round and round, round and round. Apparently that makes you look younger. <laughs> and there, then I'm pretty much done by now and it's taken me a couple of minutes normally. I have two lip products that I like. Is that upside down? <laughs> This is a lip plumper by Soap and Glory called Pillow Plump. It's literally a year old, so it lasts for 18 months. You'll always have the, like how long it lasts on the back there. So I probably should be getting rid of this soon because it's like Evelyn Rage. <laughs> but this is really good if you don't want to have a color on your lips, it just plumps. So it will tingle for a while and then it kind of, as if you've just had a, a mint. Another product I really like that you've probably seen, I'm not gonna put it on now because I can't really put it on over the plump, sorry, but it is um, Nude Rose Super Matte Liquid Lipstick from New Look. So often in my vlogs or anything, if I'm wearing a pink, this will be it, and this lasts really well all day. But normally if I'm just out and about, I don't use like the full-on pink. Oh, and I nearly forgot to show you my hair product, which is the one I'm obsessed with. It is the Dry Shampoo, but the XX Volume One can't show you enough, lots of you comment on how I get like my hair looking more voluminous and it's always just with this, I basically just spray it through, like that, at the front. I like a messy look as you know, so I don't often brush it to be honest, I just do a bit of dry shampoo and do a bit of messing around and you will end up with getting like these nice like tendrils if you do that. <laughs> Now I look hilarious, like my hair is just ginormous, like Cheryl Cole and that X Factor US. But yeah, I love a bit of Cheryl Cole. <laughs> so yeah, that is my three to four minute, hardly any products getting ready and out the door in the morning routine. What do you think? Do I now look ridiculous? Do I look better without the makeup? <laughs> You can let me know in the comments. And what I am after is a highlighter. So I would love to know if you actually use highlighter, if you found a decent one. My skin tone, I don't know, I just bought so many and they never seem to work or show up. And then I see them on everyone else and I'm like, 
Those look great. So yeah, if you've got any highlighter tips, I would love them. Don't forget to pamper yourself. You know I've been on a little self-love journey recently and it really is important. And I would love for you to enter and win somebody from my channel to be the winner of 150 pound vouchers given away by Channel Mum. So it's the 50 pound boots, 50 pound lush and 50 pound Primark. Just click the link below. You will have a very easy entry. You need to subscribe to them, a couple of lines to fill in and one winner will be announced next Monday live on Channel Mum and then they'll open again and there'll be another winner the week after. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you as a viewer here. I'd mostly do mummy videos. This is a bit out of my comfort zone, but a few people asked me about my makeup, so I thought I would do it. And don't forget to enter the competition, and I will see you all tomorrow, actually, where I'm gonna be sharing what I eat in a day to have helped me lose four stone in the last six months. So yeah, that is a collaboration video as well with a friend of mine who is doing the same diet as me. So you can hear from a couple of us, loads of recipe ideas, etc. So yes, I will see you all tomorrow night. Have a lovely evenings. Bye, guys.